Today I'm going to be telling you 10 really interesting facts about the great artist Pablo Picasso. Fact number one. He was born in Malaga in Spain in 1881. His father was a man called Don Ruiz, his mother was Maria Picasso. But in Spain they tend to take the mother's surname, not the father's surname. So he became known as Pablo Picasso. Fact number two, he was a prodigious talent. At the age of eight, these paintings and drawings could go into any gallery in the world and they wouldn't look out of place. Fact number three, Picasso's father was an art teacher and he got the job at the prestigious Barcelona School of Art in 1894. Picasso enrolled at the Barcelona School of Art at the age of 13. Normally you have to be 18 to enter. But he was so talented. But he was only there until he was 16 because at the age of 16 he got bored and he wanted to move on. So he moved to Madrid and he entered the prestigious San Fernando Royal College of Art in Madrid at the age of 16. The entrance exam lasted a month, Picasso did it in a week. Fact number four. At the age of 18 he left the college in Madrid and he went to Paris. Shortly after this, Picasso began to paint lots of paintings in blue. Some years later, someone interviewed him and asked him why did you paint all these pictures in blue? He said was it because you were in Paris all on your own and you were lonely? Picasso said no. So the man said why did you paint all the paintings in blue? And Picasso thought and he said simply it's because I had lots of blue paint. Fact number five. In 1909-1910, Picasso worked with an artist called Georges Braque and together they invented a new style of painting called Cubism. Cubism was based on the idea that paintings are painted on a flat surface and for centuries artists had tried to make that flat, flat surface look three-dimensional. Picasso and Braque went about it in a totally different way. They decided that a sculpture, for example, you can walk all the way around it. It's three-dimensional. You can't walk around a painting. So what they decided to do was to draw an object, like a person, from lots of different angles, from the back, front, the sides, and put all of those drawings together to make one image. Hence, this sort of thing. People looked at it, couldn't understand what it was, but if you look carefully you can see the clues and therefore read the painting.
number six. In 1918, he married a Russian ballerina called Olga Koklova. This is his painting of Olga with his son Paolo. She doesn't look like a ballerina, does she? But that's because you're looking at the painting from your point of view. With Picasso, you've got to be cleverer than that. Look at the painting from Paolo's point of view. If you are a young child, everything revolves around your mother. Your mother is big. She's the whole world. Look at the background of the picture. There's nothing there because the world does not exist to a child of six months old. The mother is the world. Then you understand the painting. Fact number seven. In 1936, there was a civil war going on in Spain and Franco, the leader, was also a friend of Hitler. Hitler loaned Franco some bombers and they tested them out on a little town called Guernica. At 10 to three, on one particular afternoon, Guernica was just a normal town of around 6,000 people. Picasso was appalled at the carnage that had gone on that afternoon and he painted his most famous picture, Guernica, based on that incident. Fact number eight. Fact number nine.
said, I'm always doing the things I can't do because that's how I get to do them. So if you want to be great at something, don't ever give up.